Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, for being here. And today's video is called The Unexpected. I know a lot of you like this topic, so I keep bringing those back. And I hope you're having a good day, evening, whatever time is. Before we start, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Keen. If you don't know about Keen, Keen is a website where you can find a lot of psychics, mediums, tarot readers, astrologers. Right now, Keen has a promotion going for 10 minutes for any new member. It costs only $1.99 which is up to $99 of savings. If you'd like to try Keen, go to the link down below. It's trykeen.com slash Brigitta. Instead of G, it's number nine, my lucky number. Once you are on the website, it's pretty simple to use. Just get started and see what's more comfortable for you, either to use call or chat option. When I tried Keen before, I chose the chat option. It was pretty convenient, very quick responses. Since there are a lot of people, make sure that you choose intuitively and you connect to that person energy and I hope you have fun and you get your questions answered. Thank you for listening and let's get back to the video. Hello tribe, these are your options for the unexpected reading. Pile number one is on your left, pile three is on your right with a pendulum. Choose your object, whichever draws your attention and I'll see you in timestamps. <laughs> Hello group one, let's see, the unexpected, by the way, this is called the urban tarot, in case anyone will be asking. We have the ace of discs, and I want more cards, I'm going to be using the golden foil tarot. Let's get clarifying. It goes really well with the coin, actually, I never look at the cards before I press record, so I'm going to put it right on top of the ace. Group one, the unexpected. You have strength. You have three of cups. You have the moon. Let me adjust the camera slightly. Perfect. And let's clarify these cards. We have the Two of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Now, uh, with this Ace of Discs, it feels like this is being offered to you. Um, and what is being offered in particular here, I thought at first, since we have a coin and we have the Ace of Discs, which is the Pentacles, it's going to be talking about the material realm, but for most of you, your cards are saying as part of the unexpected, what you don't see, we have two of swords, you blinded the moon, this is a mystery to you. You are receiving a very um, strong connection. Now, you may know of this person already. This feels to me like this is someone who's in your friend circle or a friend of a friend, but whoever this person is, this is someone who's going to be very close to your heart. I'm seeing a connection that at first someone doesn't see it going the way that it will go. And after some time, once they look back, they go, damn. Once I saw you or once I met you, I never knew we would be in the place that we are right now. These are heart matters. And since we have discs here to start with, um, this connection is going to be long lasting. And this connection was hidden for, from you for a while. Maybe you were looking for a connection like that. Now, this could be romantic or platonic. It doesn't matter. Um, love is love, right? Maybe this was hidden from you for a while. Um, bottom of a deck, knight of swords, maybe uh, for some of you, this encounter was lagging or you felt like the person who you truly desire, friendship that you need, um, partnership that you need, was somewhere in the shadows. And soon enough, I feel like as part of the unexpected, it's going to show up in your life. And it's showing up around the time, let me see, it's showing up around the time when you are very active. Now, this could be physically active, uh, much 
more active than before maybe you're gonna start taking care of your body more or taking care of your health but for others of you um you're coming back to strength so maybe something has happened in the past where you felt depleted or you felt unmotivated and just before this person walks into your life you're gonna you're going to start feeling that you have your fire back. Or once this person walks in your life, uh, you're going to start feeling much more stronger, more motivated, etc., etc. There is strength connected to the time when you are meeting. Um, I'm capable, I'm able, I am feeling inspired. Whoever this is, this is going to make you feel very inspired. Anything that we need to know about this person? Let's see. Let's speak. Anything that we need to know about this person? We have the magician. We have the knight of pentacles. Yeah, um, this contract, the soul contract, wasn't rushing. It had to come at the right time. Yep, the hierophant is here. This is a very strong soul contract. And um, it cannot, it couldn't be rushed. I'm seeing here it couldn't be rushed bottom of the deck we have the world card maybe because one or both of you had to end a previous cycle with someone else or a cycle of your life that was important lesson to you before this person showed up whoever this is this is someone who values tradition this is someone who values um especially old traditions and um, they probably are into um, tribal stuff um, maybe they like the way people used to live in the times before this is also someone who is very good at adaptation someone who probably have had many different jobs say um, they were a carpenter then they were interior designer then they started painting then they started getting interested in maybe a, a law firm or anything like that they had different traits um, to them and they're very adaptable uh, whatever it is that they take on to do they're going to accomplish it because they're very determined and they're very committed to their cause what i decide to do i'm committed to it and i'm going to get it done this is someone who is very patient as well this person has a lot of patience but just um something to keep in mind if they notice that um, someone is testing their patience for way too long they're going to disappear from that person's life pretty soon it is gonna be i'm up done there's no way no no way i'm gonna come back into your life i've gave you a couple of chances and i'm hearing silent chances so maybe they're not going to um, straightforwardly tell someone hey i'm going to have to separate from you if you keep doing this they're going to be um, very subtle about it can you stop doing that please or i don't appreciate when you do this and they're going to be very calm about it but if they see that someone is not changing for the better or someone is not willing to listen they're not going to stay in that person's life this is someone who's very committed to their own val values and morals and they know what they need and what they want and they're not going to allow those to be sabotaged. What kind of um, connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be? We have the Six of Cups. I mean, come on. You've met each other before. Um, if not in this, then in the past life. This is someone who feels very familiar to you. What kind of connection will this be? Um, you're definitely signing a contract with this person. Would it be a business contract? Would it be a marriage, right? We sign contracts in marriage. And justice sits right on top of the Hierophant card. You also may have a child together or may have a pet together. Um, even if this is a friendship, you will want to build something together. I'm seeing here. Maybe that's an idea of a business. Uh, maybe you are going to decide to work together 
in order to become better at something that you're not good at just yet. So that's a project. Um, you're going to have a very important common project here. It's also going to start very lightheartedly. This connection is going to start very lightheartedly with the Page of Pentacles. I'm seeing laughter. I'm seeing a lot of fun. Let me clarify the five of wands. Mm. A competition is going to be important, but it feels to me that this is playful competition that you will be in with this person. Let's see who does it better. But it's not that we as we are enemies, but let's let's compete in a fun way so that we both motivate each other in some way let's see if you can do this by that time or let's see if i can if i can do this by that time maybe you're going to bet with this person say hey watch me do that it's a very playful very mm, very fun but at the same time serious type of connection that we're being shown you're also going to be very giving to one another. Yeah. Very giving to one another. For most of you, this is a romantic partnership that's walking into your life. If you're not a mother or father just yet, you will be. Now, I don't have... Um, I don't want to ask a question about specific timing when this connection is walking into your life, but I feel like some of you have been receiving messages like that for a while now. And I want to say if that's you, this connection is around the corner because bottom of the deck, we have the chariots, almost as if this is in your energy field already. If you haven't met this person just yet, for some of you, this is just cl um, clarifying what kind of connection you had, you have and where you're heading next. And the next stage is definitely commitment marriage if you do want that, because I know some people don't want to sign documents, right? Um, but regardless, if paper is involved or not, um, this commitment is being strengthened in the future. And it's going to happen, I feel like, Let me tap in. It's going to happen pretty unexpectedly. Pretty unexpectedly. I feel like one of you still has something that they need to get rid of. Sorry, my neighbors are refurbishing their flat. There is something that you still need to get rid of or them. Would it be um, or to fix a behavior um, that gets in the way, um, a, respon a responsibility that needs to be ticked off the list? There is something there. Maybe someone has finances on their mind and they're like, I can only do this once I have this sorted. I want to have a clean slate. But hopefully this made sense. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. And until the next one, try it. Bye. Hello, group two. Let's see. The unexpected. By the way, if anyone will be asking, this is the urban tarot. And we have the two of pentacles. Look how colors match beautifully. We'll put it right there. And I'm going to be using the golden foil tarot for the rest of your reading. Mm -hmm. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands. We have the King of Wands. I apologize for the background noise. My neighbors have decided to refurbish right at the time when I clicked record button. Mm -hmm. It happens very often for me. To me. For me? Maybe for me. I don't know. 
All right, let's see what we got here. So it feels like you're going to hear news from someone. Whoever that person is, they are the opposite sex to you. And this person is going to tell you something that is quite unexpected. Mm, that is going to change your life slightly, change your routine, your routine slightly. Let's clarify what this is. What are those news about? That someone has made a choice. I have made up my mind about this. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. What is that about? What are they making up their mind about? They're making their mind about how they're going to be successful. They're saying, hey, I feel like that's the best way for me or that's the best route for me. For a couple of others of you going to hear news that someone very close to you has succeeded at a big project or has received um, recognition. Overall, this feels like someone is receiving recognition that they have deserved. The Wheel of Fortune is here. That recognition is well deserved because someone has taken time to learn, to grow, expand, um, research, knowledge. Knowledge is wisdom if it's used properly i'm hearing i don't know why for some of you um i'm seeing books involved here i'm seeing someone learning or strategizing and that and that learning journey takes them towards success i'm seeing someone who who's busy juggling a couple of things at once um maybe your life will become much busier than it was before you are going to be adding an extra tool to your box, metaphorically. And for a lot of you, it could be um, new studies or it could be you maybe um, teaching people, wanting to teach about what you've learned. Because I'm seeing um, a teacher and student relationship here. I'm seeing someone who is very visible, uh, someone who is wanted, someone's services or what they're selling. It's wanted. A lot of people are looking at that person. A lot of people want to spend time with them or to book with them. I'm seeing someone's routine changing. Um, how it used to be versus how it's going to be, it's very different now. I'm much busier, but I'm happy busy. I have to take care of so many things, but I am happy because I feel like I'm growing. I'm learning things that are new for me, and that makes me motivated and driven and makes me feel achieved because I'm seeing the feedback. I'm seeing results coming in. Where maybe before someone hasn't seen results, they kept learning, they kept pushing, they kept working, and they were like, damn, I'm not getting the results that I want to get. And I'm seeing someone receiving that. Yeah, look, strong manifestation vibes, set intentions if you want to now after you watch this reading because your energy is very high. Mm, and use that energy to your advantage. Yeah, look. The magician and the star. What did I just say? Be very clear with your goals and dreams and be careful what you wish for because those are coming true. Now, those who are floated with their decisions, they're like, I don't know if I want to go this way or that way. Your cards are saying, make up your mind. What do you want today? Go sit down, write it in your diary. I don't know, do magic, do in intention setting, visualize, and start walking that direction because it's very achievable. What is it that you're trying to achieve? It's out there and it's very close by. 
for a lot of you, it's, it's very connected to your success. The Emperor. Um, I'm seeing you as someone who is an example for others as well. Other people may want to learn from you. Other people look up to you. I'm seeing a boss, a leader, a leader type of figure. Someone who has a well-structured life someone who sees their goals come true, their wishes come true. And it's not because they were sitting back, but it's because they were putting in work and they didn't let go of the vision or the dream that they had. They knew they were going to be successful at that. Maybe sometimes they had to be flexible. They had to adjust. They had to adapt. But the success is around the corner. Bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Cups. Um, listening to your heart along this way is the best thing you can do. Your intuition is going to be your GPS. I hope this made sense. Let's see anything else. This is a very straightforward pile file number two. I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time with you here. Anything else as part of the unexpected? That card wants to come out. Let's take it. Yeah, you are independent financially. You are creating something big or something very valuable for yourself in the future. If you have your own business or if you're self-employed, expect abundance. If you need a mentor to become better at what you do, if you feel like you're lacking information or knowledge, that person will be shown to you in the near future. Person who has what you need. If you want to be a tutor or a teacher to someone else or group of people, specific group of people, your cards are saying, don't delay it. Go, go and get it. Set up your seminar. Set up your classes. Go get it. It's like students are waiting for you already. But overall, super abundant. Pile pile number two. Very abundant, very successful, very financially independent. Mm, there is also glow up connected to that. Your lifestyle is changing. Um, say if you were saving uh, before, I feel like you won't have to. You'll allow yourself to do things that you wanted to do or buy things that you wanted to buy for a while now. Hopefully this made sense. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. And until the next one, try Bye. Hello, group three. Let's see whoever has chosen the pendulum. The unexpected. By the way, if anyone will be asking, this is the urban tarot. We have the lovers. And I'm going to be using the golden foil tarot to clarify and to see what's the story like. The unexpected, pile number three. What is happening with you all? We have the king of swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, let me adjust the camera slightly, we have the Magician, we have the Hierophant, oof, very strong cards here, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas, nine of wands, I feel like there is a bit of history. Let's clarify the Justice and Nine of Wands. The King of Cups came out. I'm gonna adjust you one more time. Perfect. The Emperor and the World. Okay. What about the Hierophant? Six of Pentacles. Ooh. The Tower is clarifying the uh, King of Cups. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is the family matter, it seems like. Let me adjust you one more time. I really don't like this angle. Let me see what I can do. Okay. 
Okay. Um, these are family matters. What I'm seeing, I'm seeing a situation where someone has to let go of one person either because another person walked in their life or because they were having a lot of issues with that person for a while now and they have realized that this is not someone that I want to spend time with anymore. Uh, I'm seeing contra a contract ending. Now, mostly what, what we're being shown is um, a romantic partnership, but it doesn't have to be. We can talk about business. We can talk about platonic relationships. I'm being shown a situation where someone has to choose. Someone has to choose if they want to continue uh, spending time with someone or continue to be committed with someone um, or they are finally ready. I'm saying finally because it's been long, long coming, I feel like. Finally re ready to let go of that contract and to say, okay, I feel like I do not want to fight for this anymore. I feel like this is too difficult for me. This is too difficult. This is something that is making me feel trapped, imprisoned, or make me feel that I am lacking freedom. And I feel like this commitment is supposed to be supposed to make me feel the opposite. Um, there is something that is someone is trying to change or was trying to change within commitment, but they were unsuccessful. And realization is going to hit them once a new opportunity arises. They're going to be shown that they can get what they want, that there is another option, there is another way, there is a different way of living. With the Wheel of Fortune, we're being shown that there is commitment and the here find a new commitment that is possible, that serves bo both parties equally. Equally. But it feels like before we can invite this or before these doors open fully, with the World card over here, And the tower right here on top of the King of Cups. An old partnership of some sort is being ended. It served its purpose. It has served its, its purpose. It has taught us everything that it could. And it feels like there are no more lessons left. Unless you want or someone wants to add to the existing Lessons that they learn, but they don't have to anymore. The life that someone was living has an opportunity to change completely if someone is willing to open those doors or if someone is willing to see that what they want is out there. Mm hmm Let's see what else. I wouldn't be surprised if um, some of you watching this reading, you were married previously and you realize that you have to leave that partnership. And this didn't, um, this realization didn't come overnight. It was gradual, right? It was gradual. And once you are ready to end that commitment. It feels like new opportunities or new people start coming into your life. It's going to be very unexpected in the way it happens. For others of you, this is connected to your work. A better, a well paid, a better paid job, um, or something shifts within your work dynamic that makes you feel that you're in control again to some extent because we're never fully in control, right? That you are receiving the equal amount back.
Knight of Wands, the Chariot. I want to see for a couple of you what I'm picking up is someone's story where they they decide to move. And that move, would it be country, home, town, doesn't matter. And that move completely changes their life for the better. And a completely new chapter opens up. And it changes you as a person. Who you were before and who you're going to become. See exploration right here. And who you're going to become. These are very two different people. I keep wanting to say on the other side. On the other side. On the other side. There is still so much for you to experience. Do not be afraid to take a chance. Once that opportunity arises. Do not block yourself off from opportunities. Do not think that you are not able to escape a situation. Don't think that there is nothing better than. This is the only stone in the shoe or blockage, if you want to call it that way, that I'm seeing. It's someone's thoughts that what if I quit the situation or what if I leave the situation, I'm not going to find anything better. That is not true. There is something much better for you out there. A better match, a better opportunity. Your heart knows that with the Queen of Cups. That you're not in the right place right now. Work-wise, relationship-wise, environment-wise. You might be even feeling that you are in limbo. That you're waiting for something to happen, but it never really does. Because what, what's being shown here is that you need to give yourself permission to love yourself first and make decisions from love and compassion for self. And then the narrative changes. Because someone is blinded for now. Someone is blinded. Yes, take time to soul search, take time to self-reflect, but don't stay there for too long. I don't feel like it's going to be beneficial for you. The star that you're looking for, thinking this is far away, that dream or that wish is far away, or it's not achievable, it actually is within your grasp already. If you only opened your eyes and you looked up, you'd see that that star that you think it's in the sky, it's right in your hands over here with a hermit card. I hope this made sense. I felt, felt like I was reading three different stories. I hope I was able to make sense to all of you listening. If you need more content, find me on Patreon and thank you for coming back. Until the next one.